never been so welcomed in all of our travels. It's probably my favorite place on earth. It's hard to beat the Philippines. I mean, we didn't rent an apartment in any other country that we visited. And guys, finally, I have met this beautiful family. I have been looking for this day and it happened in 2024. How are you guys doing? By the way, Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. So to, to some audience there, can you briefly, I mean, just, I mean, describe the family? We are Always Be Changing and we also have a Live the Philippines by Always Be Changing channel. So you can find us on both of those. We travel the world, but we ended up having a second home base here in BGC. Wow. And for how long you guys have been in the Philippines? Well, we just got out here again three weeks ago, but we first came to the Philippines more than a year and a half ago. We started with a three week trip. We came back a few months later and a few months later. And when we were out here like four months ago, we started looking for a condo so that we could have a home here. And we just got one. Last night was night two in our very own home in BGC. Well, last night? Okay, I'm gonna ask you about the rent, about the cost of living, but let me ask you this. What was your first impression? You coming, you're from your United States, yeah. Yeah. right? So what was your first impression of the country? Never been so welcomed in all of our travels. Never heard so many times, welcome to our country. Thank you for traveling to our country. Just felt so warm and friendly. Yeah. And I mean, the beauty of the landscape here is incredible because being from the States, everything's like you go to the Caribbean or you go to Mexico, you know, and you get that tropical vibe. And here, I think it's even more beautiful because the, the rock structures that we have here, you know, it's just gorgeous. And then the water is a completely different color, but that clearness and, and the, the, the cleanliness of the water, being able to scuba dive, snorkel. I mean, it's just, it's unbeatable, right? Amazing. And let me ask you guys these, right? When your parents, they told you guys, okay, we live in the state, we're going to the Philippines. What did you guys think about it? I thought it sounded like a really good idea, but honestly, I never want to move out of Colorado. What about you? Uh, same answer with Cole. Um, I never want to move away from the US, mm -hmm. but I also really like it in BGC. So I feel like having a home base mm -hmm. in Denver and having an apartment to go to in BGC is great. And how much do you like BGC? I love BGC. It's probably my favorite place on earth. Oh, wow! <laughs> I like that you can like go, you can go to places without having to take a car really mm -hmm. easily. Yeah, because I have like, I, I remember when I was watching, I mean, your videos, when you guys were looking for a condo and then you guys like kind of did a game. I mean, with more likes, if, if, I don't know if I'm putting it right, but I think with more likes, we're gonna choose this condo. And yeah, yeah, she did that, she did that actually, I watched that video. So, and let me ask you like, how hard was for you guys to find a condo here in BGC? Harder than we expected, and we did it remotely. So our best friends, Mom Duty Channel, they actually did the looking for us while we were in the United States. So we we got a condo that we had an agreement on, but then that didn't work out. So we had to start from scratch. And but you know the the important thing is that we found a place. Found a place. We have a home, yeah. and yeah, it was it was quite the journey to get it though. Okay. And let me ask you guys this. I usually ask this, I mean, to other foreigners as well. How safe is BGC for foreigners? Well, we have had exactly zero negative experiences in that regard. You know, when we walk around at night, and not just on High Street here, we walk the city and we have not had a single scary event whatsoever. So, I mean, I, I, I don't think it can get much safer. We feel like we're in greater danger back home in Denver, honestly. <laughs> oh, guys. Hey, let me ask you guys this. What about the cost? How expensive is living, I mean, in the Philippines or even BGC? Yeah, I, the food and the transportation here is really affordable, yeah. but the, the housing, I can tell, is going up in price. In and BGC. In BGC, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's where we've been looking, so that's what we can compare it. Oh, okay. Have you guys eaten Filipino food already? Lots of it. What's your favorite one? Um, that's tough. It's probably pop or mango sticky rice. Oh, mango sticky rice. Um, what about you? What's your favorite Filipino food? Uh, was it lechon or was that pork? Uh, uh, Do you have a lot of mango, Mangoes, mangoes. The Philippine mangoes, mangoes are the best. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I agree with that as well. It, it kind of, it tastes, it tastes different. And let me ask you guys this. Since you guys are literally based here, your second home, as you, I mean, as you said, how much you love the country and what is like your relationship with the Filipino people? 
Well, we love the whole country. I mean, we, we want to settle and have a home in BGC, but what we love are the 7,000 different islands, 7,000 unique experiences to have here. So we've only hit the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. in the Philippines, and we want to explore over and over. Yeah, BGC is great for us because of the proximity to the airport. We, we still travel the world, so we're not just hanging out here, right? Uh, we need that, that proximity so that we have the flexibility to go wherever we want on a regular basis without adding an additional three, four, eight hours to that trip. So that's why this is home base. But tomorrow we're going to Palawan uh, and we're going to explore a lot. Uh, we've already got a trip on the books coming up here for uh, like day trips where we drive out of Manila. Uh, but, you know, it, th this is going to be the home base and then we just can explore from there. Do you guys think coming to the Philippines, it's kind, it kind of changed your life perspective? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think traveling the world changes your life's perspective and coming to the Philippines just adds on to that. Just experiencing different cultures, uh, different communities, the friendliness, the openness, how people become communities is different and it, it changes pr perspective for us and for the kids especially. It's hard to beat the Philippines. I mean, we didn't rent an apartment in any other country that we visited dozens over the past three years, right? So there is something special about the Philippines. And besides the fact that the people are nice, the, the fact that English is a primary language here makes it so much easier for foreigners like us to, to get in. And there's just, I think, a really good special relationship between Filipinos and Americans. And it's nice to have that feeling as you walk around, as you talk to people, as you're doing any kind of a business dealing. So it's just a really good option. And it's, it's, it's great for us that it's on the opposite side of the world, you know? It's like we got two hemispheres. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have been here for one year already, right? Have you adapted any Filipino habit into your daily life in this one year? That's a really good question. Well, eating the mangoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, and also the food is saltier, so mm -hmm. now I'm used to having a little bit saltier food. Okay. What about you? Have you adapted, I mean, any Filipino habit? Uh, yeah, we usually eat out and eat Filipino food, rather stay home. So, I mean, it's that, and then we're always, like, tourists. <laughs> well, you know what's cool about the kids when it comes to Filipino food? They seem to prefer it over American food. This one <laughs> probably would eat, uh, like, milk and, and cookies every day for every meal if she could. But when we come to the Philippines and we go out to see street food, it's like, mm -hmm. do you just want a chicken skewer or do you want chicken intestines skewer? And they're all over the intestines, and yeah, she's eating. Because the intestines, the intestines are juicier, so they look better. Just like how I like my meat, my my steak, uh, like really medium rare, rare, medium yeah. rare, but like mostly rare because it's like really bloody and juicy, so yeah. it makes it look like really good. Yeah. Well, what? they're very adventurous mm -hmm. eaters, and when we went to Cebu City, actually, like Balut, oh, right? Yeah. You have eaten Balut? You did? <laughs> Tell me, describe the taste for me, please, or to, to our audience there. How was, I mean, how was the experience? Uh, it was disgusting. Okay. <laughs> a piece of me died that day. Yeah. I think a piece of that balut died as well, so. It tastes like what? I put too much soy sauce oh, on it, so. Oh, right? It tastes oh, vinegar. Yeah, I dropped the salt on it, so it was very, it tasted like salt. Would you eat it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I loved it. I think it was great with the vinegar. If it didn't have the vinegar, I might say no, but I yeah. don't know what it tastes like without the vinegar. But I loved it. Overall, it was delicious. Oh, okay. What about you guys? Are, are, are you guys already making friends around here, BGC? Uh, our best friends are the Ocampos, which oh, yeah. is also mom duty. So, yeah. Okay. What, like, have you learned any, any Tagalog words so far? Um, salama po. Yes. <laughs> what about you? Uh, salama po as well. And, and, uh, is ate a, is ate a, yeah, yeah, ate, okay. yeah, ate. yeah, ate, ate. Wow. You guys have a family, like a beautiful family, and you guys left everything behind to come here, literally, to enjoy the life, I mean, the world, because this is what I always say, we need to travel while we can, because we know, we don't know about tomorrow, and I think you you guys literally introducing this to the kids is super duper beautiful because I'm pretty sure once they go back home, they kind of have a different perspective on how the world look outside the country. And it's really like amazing. And I think everybody, it's definitely grateful for you guys to choose, I mean, the Philippines. And just before we go, I mean, to the, I mean, to the Filipinos watching us right now, what message could you guys leave to them? Gratitude. Thank you. We love you. We have 
felt so welcomed and warm and invited here. So thank you. Thank you so much. I hope that when you visit the States, uh, our fellow Americans treat you as well as we're treated when we come here. Because again, that special relationship, I think, makes all the difference. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, what message do you have to foreigners coming to the Philippines? Probably the one that make the same decision as you guys, but they're scared. What ad advice would you give to them? You gotta do it. You've gotta come to the Philippines, especially here in the Philippines. It, there's so much to explore and discover. You just gotta make that leap. You won't regret it. I promise you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, we've been to a lot of great countries here, especially in Southeast Asia and the Pacific Rim, and loved a lot of them. But I think that maybe a lot of Americans are mostly afraid of that really long flight coming over and that's why we tend to stick to Central America, North America for all of our vacations. But it's really not that bad, you know, like if you can do an eight hour flight to Europe, you can do a 15 hour flight to get over here and Philippines is the low hanging fruit. You can get everything from big city life to the island life, laid back, hustle and bustle. It's just a great mix in one place. So. I just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate for your thank time. You. And guys, please go check them out. They're doing amazing content here in the Philippines. All the info is going to be in the description below. Enjoy the Philippines. And I hope you guys are going to have a great time in Palawan. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. I appreciate you. for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much.